Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, please hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So we are starting off with a pre-prepped practice hand and here I'm just showing you my design I'm going to be using for today's set. It's kind of um, like the Stewie character from Family Guy but Chucky knows. And then the rest of that is just other designs I do have planned. You can also purchase this nail template off of my website, um, Cairo's Nail Supply. I do have it um, linked down below. So here I'm just quickly showing you the colors I will be using in today's set. They're all from Acrylics, like I said. These Halloween sets are pretty much my entries for her Halloween contest, and I decided to film a few um, nail sets. So that way, you guys can, can enjoy watching some Halloween tutorials as well for my channel. Since I started this channel back last year, kind of in the winter season, I wasn't able to do any Halloween designs and I absolutely love doing Halloween nails. So I'm so happy that my channel is here and I'm able to do Halloween designs for you guys. So here I'm taking the color Cocaine Glow and applying it to the pinky nail. If you didn't notice, I do have full cover nail tips in this, like on the practice hand. I decided to try something new instead of using the half cover. I decided to try to use the full coverage nail tips and do acrylic on top of that for this set. So I'm very sad to say my Vita Bella practice hand did break. Like I noticed this back when I was doing the Michael Myers set, I think. The pinky nail, like the wire in it, kind of broke. I don't know exactly how because I don't I don't do nothing for it to break. But I was so sad and then when I was doing this set I noticed that um the ring finger ended up breaking breaking as well and i was so disappointed but thankfully she did give me a 50 percent off discount for me to purchase a new hand so i'm very grateful for that and when i do get the money i will be purchasing a different one So I will be going in with the color Sunflower from Acrylics. It's a very beautiful, vibrant yellow color. I absolutely love it. And I will be doing a full cover now with this color. Next, I will be taking the color Moonlight. It's a very beautiful nude color with some very beautiful iridescent glitter in it. And as you can see, there was a little bit of that yellow pigment from that acrylic that I used previously. I think I did forget to wipe my brush before dipping it into this powder, so that's why there was traces of that. Um, so yeah, just remember to wipe your brush before going in with a new color. I'm digging you, you make me believe that you're 
So for the index and the thumbnails, I will be going in and using the color Light Bright. Um, I will be doing a full cover now as well for these, so yeah. I will pop back in when we are ready to do the next step. Now that we have our acrylic application done, I am going in with my 5-in-1 drill bit and going around the cuticles, making sure everything is nice and flush. Next, I'm taking my hand file and going along the side walls and then um, the surface to make sure everything is nice and straight and smooth. I'm outside in the AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dogs that I grew beside, all the niggas around me, I and it die, gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in the AMG, right outside, 
So I decided to go in and do the character nail art first rather than like the side nail. So I am taking this very light nude color and sketching out what would be Stewie's head. Um, it's very oddly shaped like a football, so that's kind of what I was trying to um, imitate here. I will be filling that in after I have the outline done and then I will cure this in the lamp for 30 seconds. Next, I'm going in with this blue color and outlining now what would be the overalls of Chucky. But again, I'm doing it on Stewie, so I'm doing like the little straps part, and then I will be making the lines for the rest of the um, overalls. After that, I will be infilling it as well to make sure it's all nice and blue and then curing that for 30 seconds as well. Next, I'm going in with my white gel polish and in filling the like sides where the sleeves would be and like under the neck. This step's not absolutely necessary as I will be going in with the colors for Chucky's outfit, but I felt like it was going to show more if I did it on white. So that was my thought process while doing this. Now I'm going in with my black gel polish and just quickly outlining everything to give it more detail so I know exactly where to place like the colors for the shirt and everything. Now I'm taking this deep blue color that I mixed with that blue I used for the overalls and some black so that way I can draw the little like pocket that's on the overalls. Now 
Next, I'm taking my white gel polish and my dotting tool and doing the two little dots for Stewie's eyes. You would think doing Stewie's character like drawing it on a nail would be super easy, but for some reason I struggled super bad doing this for some reason. Like I mentioned, I'm just not that good at character nail art. Now I'm going in with my black gel polish and doing the outline for his nose and the mouth, and then I will be doing like the little lines for his hair. Then I will be taking the smaller part of my dotting tool and the light blue gel polish and putting those little dots in Stewie's eyes. I know you can do it in black, but I figure Chucky's eyes are blue, so I want to incorporate that as well. And now I'm taking my black gel polish and doing like the eyebrows for um, that more detail for his face. And now I'm going in and just outlining everything to make sure, well not to make sure anything, just to give it more detail, honestly. And so now we're going in with that red gel polish and giving the face that like Chucky look where the eyes all red and everything. There's the stitches and all that. That's what I'm going for here for the details on Stewie's face. After I've cured that for 30 seconds, I'm taking my black gel polish and kind of giving like the little lines over those scars to give it like that stitch look. And then I cure that in the lap for only 10 seconds, honestly. I'm going in and doing the little shirt now. I will be taking a few different colors. I know I use red, green, a lighter blue, a deeper blue, and like a deep purple color. I think that's all the colors I use, and I will be doing that on his shirts. So I'll let that part play out, and I'll pop back in when we are ready to move on to the next step. So I know Stewie's kind of bald minus like the little lines on his head, but I did want to do like the orange hair for Chucky. So I'm taking that orange like jelly polish color that I have and just kind of doing this motion <laughs> with the hair. And I decided not to outline it like I did for the Michael Myers set because I feel like it looked really good without the outline. So yeah, after I do this, I will be carrying that in the lamp for 30 seconds and I will be adding a little bit more detail to the hair. Next, I'm taking my yellow gel polish and my dotting tool and doing the little buttons for the overalls. And then next, 
After that, I will be taking my red gel polish and going in with the hair details again just to give it more of that reddish orange look that Chucky has. After I finish with this detail, I cure everything in the lamp for 60 seconds to make sure this nail is nice and fully cured. So now for this nail, I'm not going I'm not going to go into too much detail and talk throughout this portion because it's pretty much self-explanatory. But I am doing like the um, shirt that Chucky wears, like all the colorful lines. I will be doing that on this now. So again, taking the red and the green and the blue, like the light blue, the darker blue, and the deep purple color that I mixed. I will be doing all those lines on this now. So if you see in the movie Chucky, you know he comes in like this yellow packaging and it says good guys on there. So I wanted to incorporate that as well. So that's kind of the reason why I did this nail yellow. But now I'm going in with that red gel polish so that way I can start writing out the good guys um, lettering.
but I got a bullet up. You, you said that you was trapping, but I heard that's a lie. Back so the cold water, cut the stove on, straight the sides. Get skinny bitch, cause I like a fat ass inside. So y'all said with your baby daddy, no, not to try. Next for this now, I will be doing like the simple blood dripping down like from the cuticle area. So I'm not going to go into too much detail for that as I've done this already previously in one of my last videos. So for the thumbnail, I mixed the red gel polish and some black to get like this deeper red. And I'm kind of doing like the little, I don't know what you call it, little slash wounds, I guess. Um, so that's kind of what I was going for on the snow. So I'm just simply outlining it and then I will be curing this before I go in with like the little black part, which would be this like stitching, I guess. So this is what the nail set is looking like. It came out super good, honestly. It, it like was better than what I expected it to look like. Now I'm going in with my Mo Nails top coat and I will be applying it to all of the nails. And since I did lots of nail art with the gel polish, I do want to press down super good and make sure it gets into all the creases and crevices of that gel polish. Let me get this 
After I apply the top coat to all the nails, I do cure this in the lamp for 90 seconds to make sure it's all nice and cured. But that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys haven't yet, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!